What is going on guys? So I have another set of free sniping filters today. These are free team of the group stage players. These are an insane set of sniping filters. All of them will make you a huge amount of coins. If you do enjoy, make sure to drop a like down below. If you are new around here, make sure to subscribe. We do daily videos and of course daily trading along with squad builders and glitches. And if you haven't already, make sure to turn that notification bell on so you get notified every time I post. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> So guys, the first player we were sniping was John Stones, and we managed to pick up three of him. Now, we picked up two for 40k, and we picked up a third one for 38,750 coins. We sold all of these on for 42,250, which meant off the first two, we only made a 130 coin profit off each card. However, for the one we picked up at 38,000, we managed to make a 1,388 coin profit, which is really good for a very simple filter. So overall, I made almost 2,000 coins on this filter and I spent about three minutes doing it which means in about 10 minutes you can probably make about seven or eight K it's a very simple method now I managed to get a snipe for 38 K however I have seen them go for as little as 30 K which means if you can pick one of those up and sell that on for 40 you'd be making a huge huge profit which would be very very good now all of these team of the group stage cards are going up for a lot less than they should be especially players like stones and some of the other in the video they just go up for a lot less than they should and i think it's basically just people don't understand how much these should be worth a lot of people are picking them up getting them and listing them and i think people are getting them in packs and going oh this guy won't go for this much i'll check his price oh he goes for 40k i'll undercut the buy now and then I'm able to snipe them really quickly. That 38,000 coin snipe was really easy. I didn't do it as fast as I should have, but I managed to get it. And you saw a moment ago, I did get beat for a 40,000. However, with the 38, it wasn't even that hard to snipe. So it doesn't seem like these players are even hard to snipe at the moment. Now, as you can see, I sold two of them on very, very quickly. We then had to wait for the third one to sell. As you can see, I had a lot on my transfer list and we had that third one up waiting, but it did eventually sell and I did get all my coins back as you will see in the next click. But moving Moving on, we're going to have a look at the next player. So guys, as you may have seen in the last clip, the next player we are looking at is Blind or Blind, and I managed to pick him up for 14,000 coins on a snipe. Now at this time, he was going for around 18k, which meant after EA tax, I sold him on for what was a profit of almost 4,000 coins after EA tax, which I was very, very happy with. It was really, really nice to get a snipe like that. I wish I'd been doing live sniping. It is something I'm going to look into doing soon because my reaction was really good and I actually was really happy to manage to snipe him at that price. So we picked him up for 14,000 there. We then managed to pick up another two of him at a profit as well. I can't remember quite what they were, but obviously you will see the videos of those. If you pick him up for anything under 18K, at the time he was selling for, as you can see, about 18.5. So anything under 18K, you you could have made a profit so we got some 16s we got some 17s and then obviously the very good snipe at the start of 14 but that just shows people are putting these down for a lot less than they should be now i believe the reason is probably because if you look at him he's an awful left back he's got 64 pace defensive stats he's quite good he's got the physical and defending but no one wants a 64 paced left back now he could actually be useful in SBCs. I'm hoping they're going to do a guaranteed team in the group stage SBC. It gives us all a shot at that Ronaldo untradeable or tradable, but I'm not sure if they will. But I think that's why he's retaining a little bit more than sort of 15k as a price. But we picked him up for 14, 16, and 17. We sold all of them on for 18.5 or 18,750. So very, very good snipes and very good trades there. So guys, the player I thought who would be the hardest to snipe was actually Danny Alves because if you look at him in previous games, he's been a very expensive player, obviously when he played for Barcelona, extremely expensive. And I did think his card would be one of the most expensive. Obviously, it is a bit of a troll card, a Brazilian from PSG, but it's obviously a very nice card. Now, when I looked at the price for this, I was expecting it to be roughly 100k and it's about 40. So it's a very cheap card to snipe. Now, I did manage to sell the cheaper one that I purchased of this for 42,000 coins. So it was a very big profit, and we got a very nice snipe of this card as well. We did manage to get some decent snipes of all of these cards, and I was quite happy with that. So we made a profit of every single card we sold as well. I actually think it was the cheaper one we purchased we sold for less, sorry. And we picked this one up, and we sold this one for just over 42,000 coins. I believe it was exactly 42,250, similar to one of the ones earlier 
of the video. And then we actually picked up one of these for a lot cheaper um, and we sold that one on for a bit less. I think we sold that one for maybe 40. Basically, as I was sniping, I picked up the first one, sold that one for more. Then I sniped the second one, didn't list it up straight away. His price actually went down massively. Um, so I did have to sort of relist it quite a bit to sell the second one on, but eventually it did sell on. So as you can see here, we get into the clip of me picking up this one for 35 thousand coins so actually after selling it on for 40k i still managed to make a 3k profit there which was really nice i actually was really happy with the profits from all of these snipes so this was a very good snipe the other one we sold on i believe for 42 or 44 which obviously made a very decent profit out of that so overall we made some very nice profits off of these cards so i was very happy with all of the team of the group stage cards obviously the i think it was a player or path to glory cards Probably the worst promo EA have ever done. Didn't even bother trying to snipe them because they were so hard. And these ones, in all honesty, are hard to snipe as well because you can't do anything with the quality. You have to actually search the player and then search a minimum of 10K to 20K depending on which player it is. But as you can see, guys, really good filters here. We sold all of them on for a profit. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please drop a like down below. It really does help out the channel. Subscribe if you are new and I will see you guys in the next one.